Okay, that looks good. Oh, well, hello, folks. <laughs> How y'all today? Uh, welcome back to my little farm. Uh, just getting the uh, spell spike here on the uh, skid steel. I'm going to have to put it to work today. Uh, as you notice, we uh, spent a little money. Uh, yeah, that's why we need the uh, bell spikes on the uh, skid steer. I want to have to move uh, one of these here uh, bells. Even though the skid steer don't like it. <laughs> oh, we got a another full pallet of wool over there. And one start. Yeah. But yeah, our, our sheep pen is quite full. So uh Put this road in here. Not very straight. But a little access road going back to our uh, olive trees up here. And uh, what we spent some of that money on. made a few decisions and what we're going to do about the sheep uh, I'm going to sell a couple of them and some of them I'm going to bring over here as you can see we got us a nice little uh, sheep pen over here just like our other one. Oh, uh, that's not going to work sitting up there. Uh, how am I supposed to get the sheep in? Alright. for now we'll just uh, set both of them right here that'll be fine <laughs> yeah that's a nice one not gonna complain too much about it. And I don't think the sheep will. It'll be familiar with them. Then brought some water up for them. We got some uh, nice hay and grass in here. And yeah, we need to uh, cut our grass. Especially up front, we gotta cut that today. Uh, now these old sea reddish kind of popped up real nice over here, uh, so that should help us out when planting season comes. Or at least I'm hoping. Oh, cut across here. But yeah, our corn has uh, got a nice stand up here. And it looks like it's producing pretty good. Oh, 
down here is to wait. <laughs> well, no, I'm not ready for the wait yet. I really need the Bahendra. I mean, I could choose to wait, but uh, the Bahendra is just a little faster. Don't want to hit my harvester. Now, what we need is this little trailer. I get back here without working anything too important. Alright. Uh, well, that bail's in the way. See here now how am I gonna do this? I'll just see if I can give it a little push with the Hendra. That should be enough. We're gonna hope it's enough. Get back in and get these doors. There we go. Oh, a few of them come this way. Which is good, but not quite ready for them. here worth a thousand <laughs> those two we're going to take to sale as soon as I close my door back don't want the sheep roaming around without us here. Yeah, we're going to take these down to the uh, cell barn and uh, Get a little bit of money back from them. But uh, I'll see you uh, when we get over there to the cell block. Well, we made it out here to the uh, cell bar, as y'all can see. Uh, uh, let's see uh, if they're actually going to give us that kind of money for these sheep. dollars each and they're not taking any from having to come pick them up so we should get all that and sell yes okay two thousand dollars for animals can't complain with that
But yeah, we've had those two for a while. It didn't pay nearly that much for them. So, uh, yeah, nice to get a little bit of return on that. Now, now we'll get back to the uh, farm and uh, we'll load up a few more and get them transferred over to the uh, new pen. Uh, probably going to take a couple of trips uh, I can put four in this trailer at once uh, but we have 30 in that pen so I'm thinking probably uh three chips uh, kind of split it in half or roughly something like that then uh, I guess we might need to make a few more bales or at least cut some of this grass here I think this up here is really what's ready to do. All right. Let's get turned around here. far that time maybe not maybe I can salvage this uh, I'll hop out open those uh, gates again Ooh, I'm gonna get too close Just gonna miss. All right, make that up a little bit more. Wasn't quite as straight as I thought. <laughs> There we go. Uh, we'll leave some of the old ones here. All right. Move the trailer, yes. here load the trailer okay that's all we can get in the trailer uh -oh. pretty sure they won't leave the area but Better safe than sorry. Alright. Now, I have decided that I'm going to uh, turn most of this over here. Uh, even up with that field. leave this back here to well I might turn it over and uh, replant it in proper grass but I'm no rush to do that 
have all kinds of time for that kind of stuff. Uh, not so much for our row crop stuff. Huh? arable fields okay move and move those okay I just might hop out. Uh, as soon as they get to exploring, it'll be fine. Alright. I'm going to move the uh, rest of these. I'm going to split up between the two pastures. And uh, I'll talk to you when. Uh, we're ready to start on the next project. <laughs> Talk to you in a moment. All right, we got the uh, sheep transferred over to the new pen. We got Twelve up here, sixteen down there. Just gave him that bell of hay there. I should keep him happy for a little bit. The water's uh, completely topped off for them. So yeah, I think our sheep will be doing good now. Uh, and if the sheep are doing good, we'll be doing pretty good. Uh, especially when we go to sell all that uh, wool. But yeah, that's got our... Uh, overcrowding sod with our sheep for now. We may have to sell a few off later, but right now having the two sheep pastures things going to work out for us. And I want to get down here. And, uh, come on, chickens. Move it. Move it or get ran over. Don't really care which right now. <laughs> oh, here you go, rooster crowing. You ain't got a lot to crow about at the moment. That's all our chicken feed. That should be good enough for them for right now. Now we'll get the skid steer back in its spot. Sleep the hay forks on for right now. Uh, let's see here. Barley, okay. If that's not good enough for the chickens, then uh, we'll load up some of that barley and let them have at it. Uh, not sure if the Mahindra can handle that uh, cultivator there. You know, we won't 
don't worry about that in just a moment. But, uh, pull the Mahindra up here out of the way anyway. We'll run back down here and get the white. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut all this. We'll pick some of it up and put it in our, uh, Fermenting silos. <laughs> uh, might need to do a little bit of maintenance here to the white. Uh, that's money I wasn't planning on spending. But, I mean got to do what we got to do to keep these things running. Alright. Let's see here, the weight. $705. Ooh. Just for an oil change and greasing this thing up. You had a little thing just to keep it in good shape, but basically just a old change, filter change. Of course, those filters ain't cheap. Nope, not at all. this piece cut. That's why it don't look so shaggy and I'm not waiting waiting through a foot tall grass to get things done. Back up, start at this end. Get it unfolded. Oh, back it up a little more. Not quite hitting everything. I'll get kicked on. And uh, I'll get started with this. cut down. That's a good thing. Just spun around over here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, I'll drop that off. And
go ahead and hit the uh, loading wagon up. Porch wagon. Whatever you're used to calling it. And two. that or we could just wind row it you know I think we're just gonna wind row this just gonna pick fill up our silage pit and uh, bell what's left over from the sheep all right we got that all wind rolled up uh, I will get over back here and grab the white once again wagon we're gonna start down here uh, get this little piece here going down the side of the road okay. that's going yep lower that down Try to get all this picked up. This is just going to go into the uh, uh, yeah. We're going to turn it into silos, silage. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm tripping over my words already. Uh, but anyway, it's going to go on the silage bunkers. Our areas. No. One color true bunker or whatnot. But here's what we've thrown together. And it serves its purpose. So yeah, then we're just gonna push the air out of it for a minute. It'll be fine. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get all of this row. No, we're not. Yep, we're already full up. That's fine. One full load. Let's go ahead and put that in our bunker.
put any more in that. So the rest of this we'll just come over here and grab the beller. See if we can make a few bells out of it. Seems to want to pull my bell as freely as she used to. Oh, there it goes. No, just uh, bad driving. <laughs> oh, yep, get it unfolded. That'll probably help things. bells have the rest of this but just enough to kind of keep our sheep fed that's all we need out of this right now out of the tractor while I was trying to turn the beller off. Right, three bells. Right, and just one. And a half one in the beller. Okay. So four be four bells not too bad well, I'm not going to complain I did put in some, well, too much extra work just to get those four bales but ah. wasn't really any extra work I just want something to complain about. better to have little things to complain about than big things. Uh, complain about the little things, you can take care of them, and, and then it's no longer a thing. this uh, compacted hopefully we can for the most part keep it in our pit <laughs> okay got some more strawberries here stacked up there. There we go. I hope 
everything stays in here. I'd be very happy if it did. Been that we got two dumped on there. Alright, to do. I want to go ahead and grab the Mahindra. Grab our little flatbed trailer here. I say little. It's pretty good size. <laughs> I noticed we had a uh, few uh, pallets of olives up here. No, it's not the best time of year for them, but... then we'll just leave the trailer here and I'll come up with the uh, skid steer and uh, get them unloaded but uh, I think that's all we're going to do for today folks get back do some more planning and uh, hopefully I uh, We'll see everybody back here uh, real soon. Alright. Y'all be good to yourself. Kind to each other. 